Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to get a Google Doc from Seesaw, start writing on the Google Doc, share it with your teacher, and post the link back into Seesaw so your teacher can find it. So the first thing that you'll want to do is sign into Seesaw and look in the activities section for the writing activity or writing assignment. And I see this one right at the top for Writer's Workshop. So what I'm going to do is click this link right here. Now, depending on how your teacher has added this, you may see a link or you might see an image that looks like you need to sign into Google Drive. If you see that image that looks like you need to sign into Google Drive, you'll still just click it like I'm doing here and it will load up the next screen that you're about to see. So I'm going to click this link and now what's going to happen is the teacher has set this assignment up so that it forces you to make a copy of the document. And what that means is every student in the class will have their own copy that they can write on. But I have to click make a copy. After I click make a copy and we wait for the wheel to spin, there we go. Now I see that I have a copy of sample writing document. So I'm working from a copy here. So I can go ahead and come down and type my story or my essay or whatever writing assignment that you're going to do. And when you're ready to share it with your teacher, which you'll have to do, you have to do this step, otherwise your teacher won't be able to see your document and they won't be able to see your writing, is that in the top right, we're going to click this button that says share. Now when I click on the share button, this window will pop up and I'm able to share it with anyone in the Edmonds School District, our school district where we learn. So I'm actually, this this is me myself, but for this example, I'm actually just going to go ahead and, and share it with myself. But you would type the name of your teacher. And so you can start with that person's first name, you can start with the person's last name, and you'll see that eventually the, the name will come up and you can click on it and then it's going to share it with those people and you can share it with more than one person so you can type more than one teacher's name here now one thing that you can do that will save your teacher some time is automatically it's going to send your teacher an email telling you that telling them rather that you've shared the assignment with them well they don't necessarily need that email because you're going to be putting it into seesaw so if you click right here, that little checkbox that says notify people, so it is not checked, that means that person will not get an email when you share it with them, but they'll still be able to look at your document. So let's go ahead and, and make sure that's not selected, and then we'll say share. And it's going to share that with your teacher. Now, and it, it didn't work for me, you see, because I, I shared it with myself. So maybe I will share it with a real person here, just so you, just so it looks authentic. So I'll I'll share it with a um, here. We can we can share it with my friend Rose, and we'll make sure that it's deselected because we don't we don't need an email to be sent. So now we can click share, and she will have access to this document. Now let's come back and actually post it to Seesaw. So we have we have our, our work done here and I'm going to um, actually click share again. And down at the bottom where it says get link, I'm going to click copy link. And it says link copied so I know I'm okay. Now I'm going to click back on the Seesaw tab and you'll notice I still have this writer's workshop assignment open. So I'm going to click Add Response, and I'm going to click on Drawing. When Drawing comes up, I'll notice in the far left corner, there's these little quotation marks. I'm going to click on the quotation marks, and I'm going to paste my link. So what I did there is I, I tapped gently on my trackpad on my Chromebook with two fingers and it made this menu come up and then I click paste. And when I click paste there I can see that the link has been added so that my teacher will be able to find it. 
and then if you know if you wanted to write anything else to your teacher you could you could say like click on the quotation marks to find my link and then your teacher will know to do that and then when you're all done you can click the check mark and that will go to your teacher and look right there you see there's the link that that we need that we need to send to our teacher now here's something that's really important when you're gonna go back and do more work on your writing you can look for the writing that you've put in your journal and you're always going to be able to come back and access it by clicking that link but you won't want to click the original link in the, the activity your teacher posted because if you do that and let's see if we can get back here if you do that if you click on that original link it's going to some of you may have guessed this ask you to make a copy again and if you keep making copies it will seem like none of your work is getting saved so you need to make sure that you click on the link where in your journal where you've posted it so that you can find it again later. You'll also be able to find us in your Google Drive and that may need to be a separate video because this one's already getting kind of long but that is how you can post work so that your teacher can see it from a Google Doc into Seesaw. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.